Hey guys, it's uh, me Dave again. Um, it's 20, uh, 10 19 2022, so it's still Wednesday night. Um, I want to do another video because um, I was looking at YouTube videos and stuff. Um, I don't know if you ever went to Cheap RV Living on YouTube. Cheap RV Living on YouTube. Um, check that channel out. Um, uh, the guy's a nomad. Bob Wells, he was in the movie, um, he was in that movie, uh, Nomadland, okay, now he does so many things for nomads, and, um, people that are on the verge of homelessness, um, living in their vehicles, they, they have a non, they have two non-profits that, that have money, that help people get solar panels put in their vehicles, help build uh, out their vehicles, uh, beds and, and, and insulation and all this stuff. Um, you know, they go out there and they raise money for nomads and they have a lot of money to give away and they give products away and all this stuff, you know, to help people in need. Okay, now they started two non-profits. Um, the latest video you should watch, Cheap RV Living on YouTube. Um, they have a latest video where they're helping, uh, they have like six, six stations set up where they can help people in need, you know, build out their vehicles, give them solar, give them heat or whatever, or a fan, whatever, whatever, give them new battery, whatever, help them out in, in any way they can, okay? Now, what does this have to do with us? It has everything to do with us because... We are TIs, and some some of us are on the verge of homelessness. Okay, living our some of us are living in our vehicles. You know, uh, I might be living in my vehicle someday. You know, I don't know. You know, who am I going to go to for help? Where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? I don't know where to go. You know. So, a lot of TIs are in a tough situation. They can't find a job and all this stuff. They lose their vehicles. And they can't live with family members, or some of them are living in their vehicles, trying to make it. My point is, is that we got all these damn organizations, they don't do shit. And I did a video on this before. All these non-profits don't do shit. What do they do? We got Pax International, run by a psychopath named Derek. What does he do for the community? He wants to sell you a $3,500 box to block frequencies. Who in the hell can afford that? We got targeted Massachusetts. Frank hasn't been around in a month. I told you before, I made a video before. He's going to be the next one that disappears. And he's going to be the next one that disappears. What do they do for TIs? What do they do for TIs? We got uh, targeted justice, giving out information. <laughs> you know, do they provide any financial assistance? Do any of these nonprofits provide any financial assistance to homeless TIs, to TIs living in their vehicles, or if you're on the verge of being homeless, do they provide any assistance? We got Target in Massachusetts, PAX, uh, I don't know, what are, what are the others? We got we got uh, Freedom for Targeted Individuals or whatever it's called. They, they haven't, they're closed down. They're, they do nothing. Ella did do something. I, I, you know, I don't believe Ella was real, but she did a hell of a lot more than any of these others. She was putting on billboards. You guys put up billboards all over the country. You know, I don't think she was real. I think they made her quit because she was actually helping too much. You know, Ella was helping us. You know, I don't think she was real, but she was helping us. You know, who else put up billboards all over the country? You know, and all this stuff. Um,. But they're not around anymore. Targeted justice. They don't provide any assistance or anything like that. What do these people do for the community? People need help. 
you know, if these guys were real nonprofits, they give out a little information, which you could call education, but it's not really education. Okay, no. They give out a little information and they connect TIs with other perps. That's what they do. They connect uh, TIs with perps and perps with perps. You know, that's what they do. They provide, they don't provide housing. They don't put you in a, up in a hotel for a week. They don't uh, give you money so you can get your car fixed if you're living in it. They don't provide you with food. They don't provide you with nothing. Nothing. You know, now if these guys were big guys, they've been around for 10 years for crying out loud. You'd think they'd have some corporate donors. We got this people. They need help. Let's get the donors involved. Let's get corporate donors involved. Let's donate. Let's stop going to the community for help because we're all broke. Let's go outside the box into society and ask for money. People that have money. Let's get money who people have money. You know, that are willing to give to these people that are being tortured and hurt so bad. It makes me sick to my stomach. It makes me sick to my stomach. Because these nonprofits don't do a damn thing. They don't do a damn thing for you. What are they going to do? They don't do a damn thing for TIs. What do they do? They put out a newsletter and they'll put your birthday in it. Oh, yeah. That's great. That's great. Oh, thanks for helping me out. What do they do for TIs? What do they do? What do they do for TIs? They're supposed to be a non-profit organization, a legitimate non-profit organization, and they have no money to help TIs out. They have no money, apparently. Do they have money? Are they are they are they taking in a paycheck? Are they getting paid? You know, these non-profits don't do a damn thing for us. And it makes me sick to my stomach because Bob Wells started a nonprofit for nomads, and now they've grown so much. They got so many donations, and they got lots of money to give away. They give away vehicles. They give away twenty thousand dollar vehicles, you guys, to help nomads that are in need, that need a place to live. What the hell does Pax do? Do they give you a free car? So you can drive around and get a job? Do they give... Do they do anything? What do they do? What do these people do for us? They do nothing for us. It just proves my point. All these nonprofits are run by perps. They're all perps. All these calls are perps. They don't do nothing. They pretend to... Uh, they pretend to... Um, uh, you know, they, they pretend that, like they're there for emotional support and all of this stuff. They don't do shit. They don't do shit. What do they do for the TI community? They don't do shit. None of these nonprofits do shit. None of these calls do shit. They don't do shit. You know, and that's the truth of it. So go to Cheap RV Living. If you are homeless or you're on the verge of homeless living in your vehicle, they may be able to help you. If you if you become a nomad, you don't have a choice in become a nomad. They may be able to help you live in your vehicle if you need to. Cuz I tell you, PAX and Targeted Massachusetts and Targeted Justice, they, they can do a damn thing for you. They can do a damn thing for you financially. They ain't going to give you gas money. They ain't going to give you food. They ain't going to give you shelter. They ain't going to give you nothing. But they want your money. They want your money. They want all your money. And they want to sell you a box for $3,500. And if you buy Robert Duncan's book, they'll knock $100 off. Oh, that's, a, that's an amazing deal. You can spend $3,900. Or, uh, what is that? He'll knock $100. It's still $3,500. You know. Who has that kind of money? TIs don't have that kind of money. It makes me sick. This community makes me sick. Because they're all perps. They're all perps. 
And I just want to let you know that. I don't know. It makes me sick to my stomach. Go to Cheap RV Living uh, on YouTube and check that guy out. He's a real deal. And he gives back to people. And he helps people in need. And, you know, compared to these guys, they don't do nothing for us. They don't do nothing for us. They'll set you up with perps to live with. Anyway, I'm going to cut this off. I'll talk to you guys later.